Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how I mount all of my limited and open edition prints. I thought I'd share with this with you because I haven't really seen a lot of videos on how to do this on YouTube before, so I thought I'd make this available and show you the way that I actually mount and stick and package everything to do with my prints. So I'm going to be showing you how I mounted this guy, who is my limited edition Kingfisher print, Nestling Feathers. All the materials and everything that I have used I will list in the description below, so you can find out what tape I use, what mount boards I use, where I get my little plastic wallets, and I'll even put a link where I get the stickers printed which are on the reverse. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we have our limited edition print, which is the lovely Kingfisher here. And before you start mounting your print, you need to make sure you have super clean hands. So I've washed my fingers, so the print and mount and everything is ready for handling. So we have our print here. And then of course we have our mount board. This one is a soft white white core mount board and it is 14 by 11 inches with an 8 by 10 aperture in there to fit the print nice and snug. And we also have the backing board as well which is matching. So we have our print and our mount board. Then we have this tape which is PH770. This is an archival tape which is used for mounting and framing and this is what I use to stick the print to the mount and also to hinge the mount back together. Then I have my certificate of authenticity already for filling out and I also have a cellophane baggie which protects the print if it's kept in stock. And then lastly, this is completely optional, but I have some stickers which I stick on the reverse of the print just for branding purposes. And we'll also need a nice pencil. So I'm going to use, not an H, I am going to use this one, a 7B, nice sharp pencil, and we also need an archival pen to write on our certificate of authenticity. This one I'm using is a, what is it? I have no idea what this pen is, because it's all in Japanese, but it's a really nice archival pen. So let's get started. So the first thing I actually want to do is start with my mount upside down. So I want the front of the mount facing the table. And then we're going to just position the print onto our mount and then we're going to hold it in place where I think it is right and flip it over and then just maneuver it around so it's right in the in the right place and then flip it back and then with our archival tape we're going to stick down one of the short sides so this tape is really easy to tear so all I do is measure out the length that I need, tear it off, and then I'm free to stick this down. And secure. And then what I do is just flip it over just to double check that everything is in the right place and that it's nice and centered. And then I can continue to stick the tape around the outside edges of the print. So now all of our edges are covered, just going to go around and make sure everything's really secure, just give it an extra stick down, and then we're ready to put our mount back on. And to do this, I make sure that the backing board is in the right direction, so these boards curve and I always know that when I place it on the table and you've got two bits sticking up, that's the way that it needs to be. So what I do so make sure that I'm at the top of the print and then I line up the print board, mount board and then we're going to hinge it and to hinge it I take a long strip of tape 
tear it in half and then where this board is all lined up I then tape the two pieces together like that so they're secured here and then I'll do the same on the other side as well give it a nice stick down and you can see that now this mount board is hinged together so then what I do is flip it around that way and on the bottom here I take another strip of tape and I loop it I loop it so it forms a loop of tape this is really sticky tape as well and then I just stick it on the bottom and this is so when I flap this back over once I have lined everything up the two sides stick together and give it a nice push down and at the top as well give it a nice push all over that and then it's done mount front and mount back now this is a really simple way to do this a lot of artists do actually hinge all sides but as I presume that all of my prints are going to be framed I keep them like this so you've got a little gap there and then when they're in the frame the pressure from the clamps on that frame will push that together so it's not really necessary for me to tape all sides now what we need to do is number title and sign this print and then we need to fill out the certificate of authenticity so now we're going to number title and sign this limited edition print got the number there 13 over 100 for the 13th number in this edition then we're going to add the title and then I'm going to sign this side here and that is all that I do to finish this print off so now what we need to do is fill out our certificate of authenticity here and we just fill out all the information so we've got the title of the print the edition size the edition number signature and the date that it was printed so let's fill this out there it is all filled out and then we're just going to stick this onto the backing board of the mount. So we have our mount back, so we're going to stick the certificate of authenticity in the middle there using some more of our archival tape. So we're going to do exactly the same, measure the length and everything of each side and just stick it down. And there we are, there is our certificate all stuck down on the back the mount is all secure around the piece, so all that's left now is to put it in this cellophane bag here. And then on the reverse here, just on this flap here, I stick one of my business stickers. And that is the packaging and mounting of the print complete. So there is our finished print, all packaged all lovely and signed certificate all on the back there and that's pretty much it so there is how i package and mount all of my prints hopefully you found this at least a teeny a little bit helpful fingers crossed if you'd like to see more of these kinds of video where it's just art related in general not just specific to colored pencil or drawing then leave me a comment down below and give this a thumbs up to show me that you actually like this video. As I said in the beginning, all of the materials and everything I used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you in another video guys. Bye!